Uh, Steve Olson, I'm the Reservation Forester for Fond du Lac Resource Management. Now I noticed uh, that the sign uh, has changed, uh, uh, I guess it's changed yesterday, you guys dropped it down a little bit, but there's still some pretty severe fire danger around here. Yeah, we've been quite a while without rain and it, it's been a weird spring. We had a lot of snow and uh, after it went, things started burning really quickly. It didn't ramp up like it does most fire seasons. How long have you been doing this? Oh, since 86. So that so over those, I guess, 25 odd years, okay. how does this one compare just in your head? Oh, it's it's up there, it's not the worst. The, the worst actually is when we get the, the summer fire seasons. That's when we've had the, the most damage, late summer, early fall. Um, no, do the ground conditions last year, well, we, yes, last year was an odd year. Talk about the weather last year. <laughs> You know, and then we, we, we've had these odd years uh, a couple years in a row. Um, we, uh, we started fire season mid-March, went to mid-April, and then it started raining. It didn't quit until after the flood of <laughs> June 19. So, and then it quit raining again, and we were in drought uh, in October and November. Now we're picking up a ton of wind here, and uh, I'm wondering, how the wind factors into uh, the current conditions now, given those, I guess, drought, and then we had snow and whatever else. Well, we weather is a big part of wildland fire. And there's many elements. It's, it can be days since rain. It can be relative humidity, wind, atmospheric stability, which uh, is ability for uh, a smoke column to develop uh, temperature. They, they all enter in and get of our fire danger. It's, the wind's up a little bit today, but because we've got that front moving in, our humidities are coming up. So maybe it's not as bad as it was yesterday because uh -huh. it was. We, our humidities probably went down in the teens, and today they'll be in the 40s. I think that's what they're forecasting. And their forecast is for rain. Yeah. So what do you make of that? Well, that'll that'll put a damper on things really quick. <laughs> if we if we get some rain. Uh, and the way they're talking, the amounts uh, that'll that'll slow things down for several days. We got to get green up to uh, to really get us out of the woods. So, I talked to one of your foresters yesterday, Christian, and he said that there are guidelines for dealing with you know fatigue and other you know yeah. safety issues. I mean, but how do you manage that when you, first of all you got all these uh, guys, and I don't know if there's any ladies or not, but I mean you're responsible for their safety. They're responsible for protecting the community I mean what, what is that how do you weigh that when it's when it's been oh, we, so we, busy you know we got a we got some guidelines two to one rest ratio so uh, we make sure that our like yesterday I started at 930 because I've been running a little ragged and uh -huh. and uh, the mornings are usually quieter so we can afford to do that and then every 14 days we got to give somebody a day off Person mm -hmm. day off, and you know, <laughs> I'm hoping with the weather coming through that that's gonna be our days off. So let's just say we get three inches of rain on Fond du Lac Reservation this weekend. What what do you think that means for the ground conditions and so? Oh, on? It, it's gonna help a lot. We we got some pretty dry. Um, you go kick the kick the ground. And yeah, look it's at that. It's probably it's probably worse over here where we can, we can actually kick it. But uh -huh. and, and 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 the thing that just Floors me is we had two feet of snow here like two weeks ago, and that I, didn't so that must have just all run off and didn't soak into the ground. So I put the comments up from Christian on the WGZS uh, Facebook page, and I got a response. What about all that snow? I mean, how does that much snow, you know, melt? And we know it melts, but I mean, how can it be this dry, given that oh, much precipitation? No, we, we started out with drought, and again, it. The only thing. This is a strange year for most years, uh -huh. and most of the time, our large fuels, they're uh -huh. four inches in diameter bigger. Yeah. Yeah. When they've had that much snow on them, they're, they're fully saturated and they won't burn. They were burning last week. So, the way the snow came and the way it melted, it did not soak into the ground and it did not soak into those heavy fuels that are laying on the ground. Really? 
Well, uh, so we're going to talk to Sheldon about fire safety. What are some of the things that you would you would say? Uh, uh, right now, we're not burning, issuing burning permits. Uh, Pam members need burning permits, and, and state people need burning permits what, too, and, through the state. Okay. And we're not issuing them until we get significant rain. And if we get significant rain over the, the weekend, we probably will be reissuing them again. Uh, and if you do have a controlled, or if you do have, even if you have a legal burn, it can still go south yeah, on you. Well, absolutely, like. absolutely. There, are, you know, recreational fires. They people can still do those. I've had a few questions, and again, that's something where you got to keep track of the weather. If it's hot, dry, and windy, probably not a good day to do it. But if it's cool, calm. So you can have a recreational fire? Yes, you can. What? Oh, tell me the rules about that. Well, it needs to be in uh, an area that's free of vegetation and around five feet around a fire pit or a fire ring. And it can't be no no wider than three feet high, wide and three feet tall. So if you're out on, you know, a big lake or whatever and you are out fishing, you want to grill up some fish for a shore lunch, that's okay? That That is okay. And then, but it's also your responsibility to make sure you put a dead out. And that's a problem. Can be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we 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 had a fire Wednesday up by the boat landing uh, up uh, near Poop War, and suspect that may have been a campfire that somebody didn't put out completely. Mm -hmm. And when you put it out completely, that's like the old scout thing where you where you stir the coals and the uh, and yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're doing when we're we're putting out fire too. It's we're 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 using our tools to. Dig up the burning material and then putting water on it and mixing it around. The well, thank you so much for your time this morning. I appreciate it. Yeah, nice, nice chatting with you, JP.